Good boy, good boy, you got it. Come on. The first three days that I had him, he was what they call paralyzed by fear. Like he wouldn't move a muscle, nothing. He wouldn't even lift his head up. Something has happened to this dog. I don't really like to like make up stories, but I don't know, someone did not treat him very kindly. Eight-year-old Bruno was labeled a shutdown dog by rescuers. His entire life had been spent in a five foot by five foot enclosure. It was no life at all. Bruno's rescue by the I Stand With My Pack organization was just the first step in his recovery. He was just way more shut down than the other dogs I've had. I've worked with dogs like him, but not ones that were so unwilling to move. Angela Aiden has fostered over a thousand senior and special needs dogs over the past 12 years. Each has been special, but there's never been one like Bruno. I had to like drag him to the door on a blanket. It's so heavy, I can't lift him up by myself. Angela had to work incredibly slowly with Bruno to gain his trust. She filmed his progress along the way. Little by little, she could see him opening up. I just started spending a lot of time with him and I got him walking on a leash now, which was like really huge for him. The fastest I've ever seen you walk, buddy. Cruising. He's doing so good right now. Good boy. He went to the vet the other day and for the first time he walked into the vet office into an, ele uh, an elevator and everything. He did so good. If it's just him and I one on one, he's very like cuddly and you know comes up to me and um, he wagged his tail at me the other day, which is really cool. It was like for a brief second, but it happened. And you know I'm kind of just trying to build like those moments for him so he has more of them. Whoa! Somebody wagging their tail. Oh my goodness. To say that Angela loves dogs is an understatement. Dogs have given so much to me. Like when I was young, I was really shy and I couldn't talk to people. And I just gained a lot of confidence by being around them and helping them. Um, and it's just kind of my way of giving back to them. I mean, I am like so, so grateful for dogs and what they've brought into my life. And my whole life revolves around the dogs. She's dedicated her life to rehabilitating dogs like Bruno and to make sure each one finds their forever home. Just like Bruno's recovery with Angela, finding him a forever home will also take time. Bruno has been meeting with uh, potential adopters. We have to make sure that it's the right fit and they can continue to grow and progress with Bruno. Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to, you know, get him comfortable in the world.